Hello and welcome to the Cars Lane Cup Series here at North Carolina, aka Rockingham or The Rock. And today we're going to be racing 40 laps here at uh, this racetrack. Probably the wrong, longest race in terms of laps. And uh, Sammy in a box starting pole here. Uh, this will. This is the third Chevrolet to start pole in the CCS season. Actually, I believe it's the fourth. Actually, my bad. And we're gonna be um, getting the engine started in just a little bit. So, um, watch out for that. And stay on. Mm -hmm. Is this on? Uh, drivers, start your engines! And the engines are started and they're gonna roll off right about now. And there is Sammy in a box. He's going to lead us into the start of this race. And Sammy in a box is going to lead us to the green flag here at North Carolina. He gets a good start with the help of Savage Toy Show, a.k.a. Cody Forge, and they'll uh, get a very good start here. Here's Chef Squid with Bruh Motorsports. And here comes Savage Toy Show for the lead. He's going to try to lead lap one. That'll be some points. But uh, looks like Sammy Box is going to fight back on the top of the racetrack. 40 laps here. We're just lap two. It's going to be a long race. Here comes Chef Squid on the bottom. Roach, who uh, only had one bad race this season. That was last week at Thornton. And he's getting challenged by Chef Squid pretty good here. Along with... Uh, Sammy the box still up here. And this is from Cody Forge's uh, rear camera. And Cody Forge still in the lead with a good lead. Let's go look at Gar Salamander, see what he's doing there. Uh, battling Sammy in a box for uh, fifth. With Cactus King right there. And Jason Waymeyer and Ronnie Martin started on the front row. He's in ninth. And there's Crimson's.exe. I haven't seen much of him. And, uh, Crimson's.exe in, uh, I believe, 7th now. 
passing semi in your box. Uh, so yeah. And it looks like Shift Squid passing uh, Roach there for a second. Actually, I think it was Roach challenging Chef Squid. And Chef Squid uh, did a slingshot. Not I'm not sure here, but uh, you know, Chef Squid is in second right now. And Roach in third, who has been very consistent this season. The only race he didn't do well was last week at Thornton. Two are still challenging each other. So 10 laps complete here. And all of them being led by Cody Forge, who has a uh, 7 tenths lead. Here comes Ronnie Martin, gonna plow down, gonna try to pass Caden Williams. Looks like he's gonna do it. Ronnie Martin uh, races in a lot of sim series and even in a couple online leagues, I think. I'm not really sure. Uh, but he has had success in those series and looking to do so here in the Cars Lane Cup Series. The Chef Squid did cut a tenth off of uh, Cody Forge's lead there that last time by. Yeah, a lot of ground to catch up if he's even going to catch him. Cody Forge is, has gained a lot of points today. Wouldn't surprise me if he gained even more. And, uh, uh, unfortunate day for NASCAR fan 97 he has uh, he is out of the race he had a broken camshaft unfortunate for them and uh, the 20 of uh, third and Alexa gaming not having a good race either um, NASCAR fan 97 just came off of Thornton in a uh, with running into uh, gaming freak not 82 not a good couple of races here for NASCAR 97 fan in fact, he's in the playoffs after this race, it being so early in the season. I don't know if he's going to still be in playoff position, but uh, he's still going to go for it, I'm sure. But the highest running car that's still running in uh, the lowest running car that's still running is third, uh, third and Alexa in the 20. And the lowest running on the lead lap is Josh Drake. And as I was talking about that, Chef Squid has caught up to Cody Forge. Keeps knocking off a tenth or two, about a tenth a lap. There's not a weave up there in ninth. He's had a terrible season so far. A good top ten for him would do him good. He's in the ninth. Crimson's .exe in seventh. And Jason Waymeyer, who wrecked at uh, Thornton on the last lap, he is on. He's in sixth. So top uh, five is entirely Fords. The highest running driver that is not a Ford is Jason Waymeyer in the 17, and he is the highest running Dodge. With Crimson's EXC being the highest running Chevy right there in seventh. So all the Fords in the top five here. Let's go back to Chef Squid. It looks like uh, Roach trying to challenge him once again. But Cody Forge still leading here, has led 
just about every lap. Yeah, he's led every lap. Here comes Roach for second with Arctic Racing. Looks like he might get it. Yeah, we need to keep in mind those cars in the back. We might have lap cars in this race. And Chef Squid's going to lose a few spots here. That's unfortunate for him. He had a really good start to this race. Doesn't mean it won't end well. Oh, and uh, Silvertooth making it three wide into the corner. Chef Squid going to fall back. So Sabretooth now in second. And we're going to be halfway this time by, so uh, it looks as if Cody Forge will lead the most laps today. Savage, Savage Toy Show. He's uh, been pretty good this season. And there's Garber Salamander challenging Roach. He's going to get it. Shift Squid not done yet. And this is all battles inside the top five. And uh, Cody Forge with a second lead now. So uh, Cody Forge could lead every lap and win the race, which would be huge totals for po points that come to laps led. would be good, good, good points for him towards playoffs. He may even become the points leader, but Dissect just outside of the top ten. So not a bad day for Dissect either so far. Keep in mind the lap time to the cars that are uh, in the back. They're starting, starting to catch up to him. Took the lap time, so. Um, yeah, there is a decent chance we might see lap cars. I wouldn't put it out of uh, possibility at all. And it looks like everyone's kind of just sitting by themselves right now. There's Gar Salamander here in third. Uh, he's been kind of quietly doing very well this season. Um, finished really well at the Chaz 500 and has had some up and down races this season, but this definitely be winning those up races. As Crimson's.exe will pass um, Jason Waymire. Let's look at Ronnie Martin in the back. Challenging Roberto Crown Jr., who won at Cleveland and Flam, who won in Atlanta. James the Fish has been uh, quiet this season as well, getting some good finishes. And Shadow Um, who finished second at Cleveland Airport to Roberto Crown Jr. There's Cactus King, and he started. He's had a. Their team has had the most poles out of any team this year. Three poles in the first three races. They're hoping to get their other driver, Ember, to get a pole. That's the only driver on our team that does not have a pole right now. So, definitely something to monitor. As uh, Cody Forge's lead is still growing up there. You look at some of these drivers in the back here. I haven't really lot of them. 15 seconds back is, um, I believe, Brennan Wilmington. And there goes Fex King challenging uh, John McFadden. John McFadden has had an up and down season so far as well. Uh, today definitely probably not going to be like that race. Enjoy Paints back there. We usually see her up front, but I guess not today. And there's Cactus Kings. Here with Ronnie Martin. Yeah, these guys are battling right here. Start to pile up for the Berto Crown Jr. Um, flame as well. And uh, Sabretooth has crunched down uh, 
Cody Forge's lead to nine tenths of a second here. Mike catching. Look at this roof cam for a lap. A lap of three. Let's see how he does. Let's see how he's doing. And that time he cut off two tenths of a second just that time. Looks like Cody Forge has been using up his tires. And you can see Sabretooth is catching the 60 cars. He's let all 30, really all 30 laps. Sabretooth really crunching down on that lead right here. And we'll actually lose some time that lap. I don't know, he might, he might not catch it. It's a touchy situation. There's Motorsports Sports fan for life. Number five in the back. Yeah, 17 seconds to Brandon Wilmington. We may see lap cars, but I have my doubts. Let's look at Savage Toy Shows, uh, Earth Cam, CC, anything on the roof. Yeah, no lap cars in here at all. So, um, yeah, a little quiet right now. Everyone's kind of separated, doing their own thing with just a little under 10 laps to go. And no cautions in this race, which is good. We'll, we will, uh, have, we will not, I won't have it in this video, but in the Discord server, I will have some uh, looks at what happened to NASCAR Fan 97 and or, uh, Third and Alexa, they they, uh, they might have had a collision and no caution came out, but um, then, then again, it might have just been some mechanical issues. So definitely something to look at there. And uh, it looks like Cody Forge may sweep here, leading every lap of 40 laps. That would be huge points. And if you added a win to that, that would be huge points for Cody Forge a Savage Toy Show whatever you want to call him I guess but um, he it, this is already a huge points race it wouldn't surprise me one bit if he became a points leader after this race Sabretooth has been uh, well up and down every lap or so and uh, the rest of the top five is Forge just like all race long Sixth, uh, Crimson CXC, the highest running Chevy, and the highest running Dodge is Jason Waymeyer in 10th. So, now get a race for any other manufacturer that is not Ford. Uh, but Ford has been doing it good here, so that's good. Uh, just won last week at Thornton and may win today. It, very likely, it'd be almost impossible for that not to be the case because the Highest running Chevy is two seconds back, and Sabretooth is not really catching up much. So here we go. Just a few laps left for Cody Forge. I, I doubt we're going to see lap cars, but it, 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 it was possible at the beginning of the race, but, you know, uh, things happen. So Cody Forge, uh, it's a few more, just a few more laps, and... He could get a huge points race for him in that Gold Peak T4 for Arctic Racing. Sabretooth, uh, I believe the team owner for Arctic Racing right there in second. Gar Salamander with Mobile One Racing, team owner for that. Fourth, Chef Squid for uh, Motorsports and uh, Roach in fifth with Arctic Racing. So Arctic Racing really good race today uh, I, I think they have another driver I'm not sure uh, but I'll have to check that out but a very good points day for that team uh, with the leader two laps to go here as uh, Sabretooth not really catching much 
And uh, Crimson's.exe, you're trying to get around the 66, but I don't think it's going to happen. Trying to pass them on the top. As Cody Forge, we come with one lap to go. Cody Forge leading. He has a second lead. Nothing in his way, nothing behind him, no pressure. And here he comes. One more back stretch. Coming around turn three and four for the final time. Cody Forge in the number 60 led every lap. And he will win here at The Rock. What a race. So, um, a little less interesting, but big points gave for Cody Forge and a few other drivers such as Chef Squid. Big day for Ford. Uh, all Ford top five. So, interesting here. Well, thank you for watching. I believe next week we're racing Ricky Raceway, the second uh, super speedway race. I want to thank you all for watching. I will see you guys next time.